Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? What's going on? Um, so I'm walking back from an eventful day playing Pokemon Go, but I wanted to share with you guys something pretty cool. When I get back to the house, I'll show you guys. Uh, what it is, is that I was able to actually get uh, Android 8.1 on my Nexus 7 2013 tablet. And so I'm going to show you guys the custom ROM. It was a bit of a headache. It took me a while, but um, yeah, so... I think the hard, the hardest part was fighting with getting the drivers recognized. But anyhow, let me get back to my house. Now I'll show you guys what's on that tablet. Okay, guys, I'm back. And don't mind my neighbors. You can hear them through the wall right next to me. But this is my Nexus 7 2013 edition tablet. And um, so I was able to get, um, I was able to get it up from Android 6.0.1 to Android 8. 1.0 so we'll go here to about you guys can see lineage OS version 15.1 and it's running on Oreo and it took quite a bit um, it really wasn't uh, much issues at all trying to get it installed what initially happened was I um, was fighting with uh, the correct drivers for the computer to recognize the tablet so Every time I would um, pull up command window and try to um, fast boot, uh, well, to first unlock the uh, bootloader, um, the list would show, wouldn't show up the device at all. So I spent hours fighting with it, trying to find the correct drivers, wiping out everything, reinstalling platform tools, reinstalling drivers, and then trying to get it to go. And it finally did. Um, now, initially, I tried out... Um, was it Liquid Smooth, I think it was, which was uh, Android 9. However, the uh, system storage is not partitioned to take um, Android uh, 9, or basically, um, yeah, well, Liquid Smooth actually booted on this, but I couldn't get gapps loaded because it wasn't enough space to have gapps um, flashed on. Uh, the Pixel Experience, I couldn't get that one on there uh, just because it has gapps already built in. And I think there's only like 880... Um, I want to say megabytes of uh, space for the um, the operating system itself uh, that could be flashed in. So um, yeah, I would have to repartition the um, internal storage for it to actually accept the system uh, files as well as G apps. If the ROM that I'm going to use requires G apps, now Pixel Experience has G apps already natively built into the entire ROM itself, so you don't have to you know dual flash anything. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, uh, 18.1, I do have Majisk. Majisk is working good on here. Um, I like using Majisk only just for the fact that, you know, it does have the ability to hide root from certain apps that look for it. So shout out to Max Lee, um, for teaching me that basically through his videos. And, um, yeah, so you guys can see here, I have Majisk installed in Majisk Manager. Um, I'm not really gonna be doing anything heavy and intense with the tablet itself, but just, um... Just using it for what I use it for as a tablet, you know, read news articles, watch YouTube. Uh, but I do know that um, anything that isn't backported to Android Marshmallow, I don't have to worry about it being a hindrance because I'm able to bring this up to 8.1. And later on, when I partition the uh, system so that way I can install something that has just running like Android 9, then um, I'll definitely show you guys um, when I do that. So other than that, that's pretty much it. My Nexus uh, 7 2013 edition up on uh, Android Oreo. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping me a like. I would really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if it's your first time checking out my channel. And um, yeah, until the next time, everybody. Aloha.